Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. Um, today I was on my way to work, and instead of going to work, I came home and made this video. Um, not because I wanted to or anything like that. Um, of course, I didn't want to get back to work, but that's not why I came home to make this video. I came home because I felt a pull to come home and make this video. Um, as you can tell from the title that I believe this video is going to have, um, I believe what I need to talk about is the fact that I'm married, but I live as a single woman with my two children. Um, I've been married for about two years. Um, I have an eight-year-old from a previous relationship, and I have a seven-month-old from my current marriage. Um, you know, whether you're Christian, whatever your faith is, um, I am a Christian. I believe that Christ died for me and my sins. And because of that, because of my belief in Christ, I feel like I'm, I know that I am saved. Um, however, some people may not be Christians, so this is not, this has nothing to do with religion. Um, but some people may feel like it's wrong to be married and not live together um, because of the whole unity um, thing and, you know, us not being in one place um, might um, be seen as a divide. Um, but I truly believe that this is what I'm supposed to do in this season of my life. Um, there was a lot of turmoil in our relationship, a lot of drama, a lot of abuse. Not physical abuse so much. Um, it wasn't that kind of abuse. It was, when I say abuse, I mean mental, emotional abuse. And um, it was time for a change. Um, I don't want to say that I believe that the Lord is telling me to live separately from my husband, but I do believe that the Lord is, that I'm being led in everything I do. Um, that's not, I don't mean anything else by that, but what I said. Um, sometimes life happens to you, and that's not always a bad thing. It may sound bad, um, but it's not a bad thing because when life happens to you, um, all that means is that you're not holding on to the reins. You have relinquished control and you're just kind of allowing life to happen and you're trying to be in, be led in everything that you do. Um, not necessarily knowing the end result of everything you do or every decision you make, but you're just trying so wholeheartedly for everything you do to be um, aligned with whatever uh, whatever you believe is leading you to do it. Um, and in my case, it would be the Lord. I would be um, hoping that the Lord is guiding me in everything I do. And I truly believe he is. Um, this video is really for the person who feels like life is happening to them and you don't have control. Sometimes that's okay. Sometimes it's okay to not know um, what's going on. And if you are a believer, the Lord can sometimes pull you in a direction that you're not quite sure um, where you're going. Um, but the, the, the freedom and the, the peace that comes with knowing that God is good and he loves you and he has plans for you. He has plans for everyone. Even when you don't believe in him, even if you don't love him, 
if he loves you. Even if you don't believe in him, even if you don't give him honor with your life. He has plans for you. Whether or not you fulfill those plans are up to you. But because of his plans, sometimes life can happen to us trying to get us to that final destination. Um, and even though it's a horrible feeling of not knowing what's happening to you and feeling almost used or feeling, feeling lost in a way, um, as long as you know that you're on the right path and that's only through that inner peace that you have within yourself, things can be going on, things can be blowing up around you. You can be in the middle of a war zone but as long as you have that peace and as long as you know the voice of the Lord and you know that God is guiding you in everything you do and you're reverencing him in everything you do and every decision you make, then even though it may be feeling like turmoil and craziness, be still a no. I know people don't like to say that. It sounds a little cliche. But be still and know. Be still, meaning don't make any rash decisions. You know? Just allow God to move. And sometimes your faith is going to be tested. You're going to question whether or not you're making the right decision. And more than likely, those questions are going to come from other people and how they view the decisions you're making and how they view the situation you're in. But if you think about it, and you think about how you would feel if somebody were in your situation making the decisions you're making, you would probably think they're making a mistake. You would probably think that they are off in some way. And so unfortunately, human minds can't comprehend the things that the Lord has for us. Um, if they could, uh, we would be like God. And as similar to God as he's built us, we don't have, uh, we don't have his way of thinking. Um, we just can't. He's magnificent and sovereign. Um, and so to wrap this all up, I believe this video is just to encourage you. To encourage you to keep moving. Follow the voice of the Lord if you are not saved. Uh, this video applies to you because this is not um, a sermon on uh, only applicable to Christians. This is to you. This is talking about the life that we live. Everyone lives uh, a life that can sometimes come with its challenges. And so because of that, I wanted to encourage you. To stay on the path that you feel like you should be on. Feeling inward, not emotional feel, but that inward feeling that you have. Um, stay on that path. Have faith that everything will work out for your good. Everything. And be led in everything you do. And no matter how crazy you seem, even to yourself at times, it'll be okay. Because sometimes uh, the best breakthroughs that we have are in craziness. Sometimes God really kind of shows himself uh, best. He shows his, his, um, his power, his love, his grace, his mercy through those crazy moments that we think that we're having. That we're about to die in, that we're not going to survive, that everything is falling apart. I can probably count how many times I felt like it was the end of me and I'm here. And so that's a testimony in itself to show you that it was just in my imagination. It was just my feelings and um, feelings are temporal. So be blessed, uh, stay encouraged and check back for more videos. I'm sure I'll make some more of these um, whenever I'm led to. And um, I'll go into deep detail about um, my personal testimony 
in another video. Um, I definitely think it's important to share uh, the whole story and not just a snapshot. Thanks for watching again. Be blessed. Bye.